In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of how to take the back off the Dell XPS 16 2016 version. Now we've got the uh, 512 gig SSD version here, which has the 84 watt out hour battery. Now there's a slightly different layout inside to the ones with the uh, hard drive, which has a smaller battery. I'll show you in a minute. But what you need to do first is have a look at, uh, or have a search for the XPS 15 service manual, the 9550 model and you'll see the service manual gives you uh, information about how to take the back off. There's the picture there, it's just a matter of screws, if you look around the base here, four screws across the back, two across the side, four across the bottom and don't forget underneath here there's two important screws that you need to remove. Now getting the back off is not easy, it just says pry the base up with your fingers. Well it's pretty difficult, I've lost uh, quite a bit of nail trying to do this and uh, don't forget that you'll probably void your warranty when you do this as well. Um, what I found the easiest, although it was really tight all the way around, is to just get the back first, and I've got one side which I've managed to click away. Now, of course, I've taken all the screws out already and lift it up that way. So once again, from the back, and then there's a take it from the side down here and then lift away, it will click, 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 and you can move it away. You're quite likely to actually bend the lugs in when you do this, so the second time you do it, it will be a lot easier to undo. Uh, but of course, you'll have to make sure that when you put it back, you get it nice and tight and put the screws in as well. So let me show you the layout of the uh, version with the terabyte drive in. There it is. You can see the difference between that one on that uh, screen recording there and this one here, which has the uh, 84 watt hour battery in it. Now, there's the uh, M2 SSD, and that's a 512 gig Samsung NVMe module. module. Uh, I've forgotten the depth of that. Is that 80 millimeters, 70 millimeters? Anyway, it's the long NVMe modules. And in this configuration, you probably won't want to upgrade anything. You won't want, need to take the back off unless you have a RAM problem or an SSD problem or need to replace the battery. Battery is easy to get out. NVMe is easy to get out. And this has got the 16 gigs of RAM. But have a look at the version there with the 54 watt hour battery and the terabyte drive. Now, what you might, be, might want to do on that is uh, drop in, instead of that uh, labeled by the number four there, in instead of that terabyte spinning drive, you might want to upgrade that to an SSD. Um, there's also just a 32 gig SSD uh, beside that terabyte drive for the operating system. So upgrading to a 64 or 128 might help you over time. 32 gigs is a little bit tight for Windows 10 over uh, years of use. Um, you certainly need to uh, keep your uh, drive, your, your SSD clean, and get rid of um, updates and lots of other uh, temporary files that build up there. So that's pretty much it then for upgrading SSD and RAM on the Dell XPS uh, 15 2016 model. Again, be careful, this is a uh, metal casing. It's really nice and tight. Uh, what you're likely to do is hurt your nails, get something plastic, don't get anything metal under here and be careful when you do it. And always remember, you're going to void your warranty when you do that. Don't forget the two screws in the middle, they're very important and uh, just be careful when you uh, turn this upside down on a table. This metal might scratch. XPS 15, that's taking the back off. I uh, hope you um, get something out of that. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to these videos and you'll get uh, notifications of, uh, of the videos as they go up in your email box. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Notebook Check Tech Review video.